Hello and welcome to the 72nd vlog here on my channels on YouTube and Facebook. I don't like to do talking head videos, but the last weeks were so full of uh, things happening around Article 13 that I have no better idea than to do one. Starting two weeks ago, we saw the Christian Democrats and the EPP trying to thwart all rallies by moving the vote for uh, Article 13 up in the schedule. Um, we went to the streets and we were finally, uh, they relented and uh, didn't, but with a couple of twists. So that was a success. Last weekend uh, we had the third uh, rally in Cologne. Being it overall being the fourth, uh, it was a bit smaller than, than the other ones, which is kind of understandable. Um, today we have a rally in Dusseldorf and I kind of feel pretty bad not being there, but um, life has just cooled up and uh, I need to do laundry and also this video. So without further ado, let's get right into the heat of things. I had Twitter discussions with a couple of people, most notably Helga Trupel, who is a Green, that is, for Article 13, and Michael Duderstedt, who is actually working for one of the digital rights management groups. Um, I thought for a while that they were actually engaging and wanting to discuss with me, um, to the point until I realized that they're actually not discussing, they're just quoting a lobby letter that GEMA, which is one of the four German digital rights management group, has created and uh, which I'm going to link down below. Basically, what this letter tells us is uh, the true background for Article 11, 12 and 13. And this is money. Just and plain, simple money. What they are trying to do is they are trying to force YouTube to pay them for rights of all creators, including us. It's called collective licensing and uh, please feel free to read the article below. That's exactly what it says. What they want to do is they want to extort money from Alphabet by selling them rights to our work that they don't even own. And um, I mean, that's outrageous. <laughs> it's really totally, completely outrageous. I mean, you, one can admire the chutzpah they have, but basically what they're saying is in the age of digital media, in the age of social media, we don't make enough money, so let's force all the user creators pay us. And oh, by the way, and while we're at it, we're also going to extort money from Alphabet because they have enough. I mean, and in doing so, they do risk a destruction of a lively internet culture. They do risk the destruction of all of social media, just for the simple reason that they can make money and survive in the digital age. And I, I think this is absolutely outrageous. And um, I was kind of wondering, after this uh, parliamentary session, where will Axel Force, where will Schulze Europa, where will Miss Trooper, where will they go and find jobs? Um, one might wonder. And then, two days ago, something even worse happened. The Christian Democrats, the, the German part of uh, the EPP, issued a statement saying, oh, we don't want upload filters. This statement is basically a cut and paste from the lobby letter sent out by the digital rights groups. And it's okay, it's not a cut and paste. It's rehashed uh, some additional wording, but basically what they're saying is, oh, we don't want upload filters. We just want licensing. Um, and the basis for this is collective licensing, which happens to be exactly what the digital rights management groups want. And basically, and I, from my point of view, they are actually needed, otherwise they, they sink into oblivion or need to seize business, which won't be a bad thing. But, um, so what we really need to understand is that Article 13 is aimed at supporting the business of the digital right management groups, which are private companies. Likewise, Article 11 
has the only goal of supporting old school publishers who also have not adapted to the digital age and help them survive. So basically our politicians they are trying to support private companies, private publishers and they're killing all of social media for it. In my book this is pure lobby work. That's lobbyism at its finest. And, um, and nobody can tell me that any one of these are thinking a second about artists, creators or anybody else having copyright rights. So, what can we do? Next Saturday we need to take to the streets, we need to be out in force. What the Christian Democrats are doing now is trying to confuse us. They're speaking out against upload filter which is not what they're talking about. What they're talking about is they want GEMA, they want VG Wort, VG Bildkunst, they want them to survive and make money from our work. And they absolutely risk the destruction of our culture. So we need to take to the streets, we need to make very loud and very clear that we do not want any of these articles 11, 12 and 13 and we want the European Parliament to rescind the copyright directive. Come back, sit down with us and work on a copyright for the digital age. And in closing, to all of those who have listened so far, if you're wondering how that could look like, I can recommend to look at creativecommons.org. That's where all the, the Creative Commons licenses live. That is how a digital copyright should look like. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you in the next one.